So Matt was wondering if there is a common sign that horses display when they are too warm in their blankets. Often people tend to blanket their horse based on perception of how they feel in current temperatures. I have two horses that are ideal weight in moderately thin coats. I realize this may vary from each individual horse. Yeah. So this one actually did bring up a lot of comments on our YouTube channel oh. as well. So wow. apparently it's a hot topic. Okay. <laughs> so Elizabeth wants to know or said, I hate being hot. I take my jacket off when I need to and my horse can't. Yeah. Great point. And then Janelle said, I don't want my horse to be sweating in the winter because of me. We all have that guilt. Yeah, the great point. <laughs> and then Penelope said, I don't want my horse to sweat in the middle of winter. That could be bad. Also a great point. Okay, so lots of concern about horses overheating. Yes. Very, yeah, which is which is great. And um, I'm going to answer the question first, and mm -hmm. then I want to share some fascinating research out of Norway. If you've not heard this, you will be floored. See, I knew you'd come back yeah, with all the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, so um, unfortunately there's not like a, a really great way to tell if your horse is too hot his blanket other than the obvious sweating. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes I tell, when I get to the barn, I just, before I take the blanket off to groom or whatever, I'll stick my hand up and feel, whoops, feel how warm it feels up in there. And when I take it off, if the hair is super flat, then I'm thinking he maybe didn't need as heavy a blanket as mm. a head on. Um, because the opposite is, if you, how do you tell if your horse is too cold? I think we should cover it even though they didn't ask is if your horse is shivering is like the last resort. They, they, their muscles are capable of um, shivering to create heat. Mm -hmm. Their hairs stand up. They fluff is sort of the you know everyday term. Pyloerection is the scientific term. And that creates a, a, like an air layer between the skin and the outside and keeps them warm. Um, so that's how I tell if a horse is cold. They also will have heat seeking behavior. They'll go inside if they can like in a shelter, in a stall. Um, they'll stand on the sunny side of things, they'll avoid the wind, you know, those sorts of things. Yeah. We let our horses at, at our place, because they have, they have run outs, uh, choose whether they want to be outside or inside, and that tells us if they're hot or cold. So sort of the place that your horse picks to stand tells you if they're hot or cold. However, if you're from Norway, <laughs> they did a study where they spent two weeks, and they only needed two times or five minutes, but they spent two weeks teaching horses how to communicate with their handlers whether they were too hot, too cold, or just right. No way! And what they did was they had uh, white signs on a fence at like horse head height and one sign had a black horizontal mark that was the too cold. One sign had a black vertical mark and that was the too hot and then mm. one sign had nothing and it was blank and that was it, I'm just right, leave me alone. Okay. So they taught the horses that when you're too hot, touch the too hot sign and I will come take your blanket off or change it. When you're too cold, touch the too cold sign and I will put a blanket on you. And what they had to do was not treat the horses for randomly touching a sign. Mm. That wasn't the exercise. So they taught them when you're, like they purposely made them sweat under their blankets and then taught them touch the hot sign and I'll make your life better. Wow. Yeah, so the horses learned it super quick and then it was cold and they it was rainy and windy, which is the worst conditions for horses, and they didn't have anything on, and so the horses correctly touched the, I'm cold, put the blanket on, and so they rewarded him. I feel like my horse would just go back and forth between the two just to see me take his blanket on and off as a game throughout the day. I think, I think mine might too, but they said these horses would line up at their respective signs when the people like drove in the road. That is so They cool. wanted to communicate with the humans so badly about what they wanted clothes wise. Can you imagine the other things they want to communicate with us about? I can only see the training that's going to be happening in people's <laughs> barns after this video. <laughs> so, so let's check that study out. So if we see the hair is like standing up, that's the horse trying to warm itself up. Yep. So you might need to blanket yep. up. Yep. If the if you take the blanket off and the hair is now laying flat, that could also be or a they're sweating. Or they're sweating. Yeah. Also a potential sign that maybe they're too blanketed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and times that you want to consider your horse needs a blanket are when it's um, wet, rainy, snowy, icy, and, and windy. Wet and wind are the forces of nature that horses don't deal with very well. So they either need shelter, a place to get out of it, or covering. Mm. So. 
Well, what I also like that Matt mentioned was that this may vary on individual horses. Correct. So I think some people are like, oh, it's X degrees, I'm going to throw this blanket on. And also where you live. So if you live in Florida and it gets, oh my gosh, 40, then everybody gets their heavy blankets with their neck things on and their heads are covered and their tails are covered. <laughs> you know, and 40 where we live is like, woo, summer. So. Um, being used, getting used to the climate where you live is important too. It takes tw 21 days for horses to acclimatize. So take that, if you move, take that into consideration. So if you're going down to Florida for the winter to show and compete, it might take your horse a little bit of time mm -hmm. to Or you moved and you moved during the, in, in the winter from Florida to say Minnesota, that's gonna take your horse a while to get used Which to it. Which would be a tough move. <laughs>